Today I'll be making gooey fudge cake. Take a look at it. This is it fresh from the oven. See how it's bubbling and looking so gooey and wonderful? Now I'll take a look at it as I serve it with ice cream. Gorgeous. It smells so good. I promise you guys are going to love this. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. that we're going to need. In this bowl, I already have the flour and the sugar, okay? And it's one cup of all-purpose flour and three-quarter cups of sugar, regular sugar. Over here, we're going to be using cocoa, but it's divided for a reason. The bowl in the front has two tablespoons of the cocoa, and the one in the back has four tablespoons because we're going to be doing it a different way in the recipe, all right? So take a look at some of the other ingredients. We're going to use baking powder, and that's two uh, teaspoons, a quarter teaspoon of salt. This is two tablespoons of just regular cooking oil, the clear ones. This is a half cup of regular milk, uh, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a cup of brown sugar that's firmly packed, and I have the light one, but you could use the dark. This is one and three quarter cups of hot water, and I just poured it from the kitchen faucet. And I have my wire whisk right here. We're gonna need a nine inch square pan, a square pan, I said square pans, <laughs> square pan, and it has to be on greased, all right? So let's get started. Now, I'm doing this because dinner's ready. I've got my dinner ready on the stove, so this is going to be our dessert. So this takes about 40 minutes to bake, so I want to do it now so that after we get through eating, we can have the dessert, okay? Now take a look. I've got a couple of the dry ingredients in here already, you know, from the time I started. I'm going to add the two tablespoons of the cocoa. I'm going to add the baking powder and our salt. Let me see if I can get it without spilling. And our salt. And we want to go ahead and just kind of whisk that up. And you guys know I absolutely love these kind of recipes where you just kind of whisk dry and then you whisk wet and so on and so on, right? So set that aside. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put our milk. Remember, it's a little bit of milk. Our cooking oil. And our extract. Let me get that without spilling too. So just kind of whisk that together. You guys are going to love this recipe. And then mix in the wet with the dry. And I'm just using my whisk, my whisk still. So, let, me, let me change out from my whisk and go to a spatula, okay? Get it clean off. Here we are. It was too thick to continue using that whisk. So, get it all blended in really well, okay? Don't leave any dry areas. Okay, so now to dump our batter into our pan. And remember, you don't have to grease it, flour it, anything, okay? See how thick it is? Kind of reminds me of brownies to a degree. And it's going to be a little bit. I don't imagine this will serve a whole lot of people. But there's only five of us in here, and not everybody likes chocolate, so... You mean only me? Joe doesn't, Jory doesn't like chocolate. Too many people with J names in here. So, spread it out with my little butter knife. It smells good already, of course, because it has the cocoa. Alright guys, to the best of your ability, spread it with your butter knife, kind of like when you're spreading peanut butter. Get your knife all cleaned off. And off the edge. Now the only thing left to do is... Okay, I'm going to use another bowl here this bowl to mix together our brown sugar. Let me loosen this up with my fingers. So get out all the lumps. Add the rest of the cocoa. This is the four tablespoons of the cocoa. And before I started doing the show, I never had baking cocoa in this house. And now I have tons of it. 
So this is not, not even three minutes I've been doing all of this, okay? So take a look. Just spread the cocoa and the brown sugar on the top. It's quite a bit. Spread it all over. And some lumps are in there, but that's just the brown sugar. That will melt when it cooks, okay? Just go ahead and spread it all over. Make sure it's even as you can go. And take the one and three quarter cups of the hot water and pour it all over. And we're not gonna stir when this is done, all right? Just pour it all over. By the way, if you don't have any ice cream in your house, run to the store and get some ice cream or some whipped cream because you're gonna need that for your topping. I'm gonna do ice cream. Isn't this pretty cool? Get it all wet. Don't stir it. And then on 350 degrees Fahrenheit preheated oven, we're gonna stick it in and bake it for about 35 to 40 minutes. There you go, guys. I'll see you when it's done. Here it is fresh from the oven, 40 minutes later. It looks like molten lava to me. What a spectacular dessert, right? Uh, very easy to make, very few ingredients, mix the dry together, mix the wet with the dry, bake it for 40 minutes and then serve while still warm topped with ice cream or with whipped cream. I promise if you guys make it, you're absolutely going to love it. Now, I've got two shout outs that I want to do. You know, whenever people stop by my dad's store in LA, my mom will tell them about the show and when they tell her that they already watched, she'll say, would you like Barbara to give me a shout out? Unfortunately, she always calls while I'm driving so I can't write the names down, but I think I remember them. The first one is to Philippa Graham. Philippa, I know that you live in Utah. I don't know if you know, but I have cousins that live in Utah. Megan's one of them and their little daughter, Giselle. Uh, but anyways, Philippa, thank you so much for watching the show and thank you for sharing it for me, okay? And mom says it was such a joy to meet you and to speak with you this past weekend. Now, the next shout out goes to a young girl. She's only 10 years old, Melody. I believe the last name is Castillo. And Melody is distantly related to us, some way, somehow. Her dad's like my mom's cousin or something. So you know what? That reminds me of, I remember when I was doing the Belize word of the day and the Belize phrase of the day, I totally forgot that I was doing that and I kind of left it aside. I want to pick it up again, starting with this video. So I'm going to give you a Belize phrase, okay? The phrase is cousin to family. And that's what Melody is to us. She's cousin to family because she's distantly related to us. So Melody... I'm so encouraged by you because at 10 years old, you're using this, these videos to make fantastic meals for your mom. That is so awesome. Keep at it, okay? Because you're just gonna get better and better. So those are my two shout outs. And um, I wanna just thank you guys so much for watching the show, for giving me of your time so freely all the time, and for sharing it. If you like the videos, hit like below for me. And until I see you guys again, take care. Please check out my review channel right here on YouTube, it's called Bear Pantry Talk. Also check out my vlog channel, it's called Babs Bear Talk.